Well, that was a disaster. So I just released a program that converts MIDI files into $30 website songs. At least that was the idea. But as the general consensus showed, um, that is not what it did. So I'm going to keep it brief and just answer some questions in more detail than I did in my community post to kind of explain what went wrong and what I might do about it if I decide to revisit this project and why I'm not too keen on that. So first, the obvious questions. The first question that came up was, why is my antivirus blocking the program? And that is because it is an unsigned program, no certificate stuff or anything like that. I just built it in Visual Studio and put it straight on the internet. And the thing about those kind of files is that they look really suspicious to every antivirus. When you just download a file from the internet that has no signature, um, no verifiable author or anything, usually antiviruses will block it. And also usually they'll give you the option to run it anyway. And that seemed to work for the people that got past that step. Except for one unfortunate person who, when they chose to run anyway, the file just disappeared. Um, very sorry to you in particular. But for those who did manage to get past that step, they noticed that um, it didn't work. The program did not work. Which brings me to the second question, why didn't the program work? Um, I got a lot of messages, um, especially a lot of messages with the error messages that they were getting, which was helpful. Um, not helpful in knowing what to fix, but helpful in knowing what went wrong. And that was this. The importer, the thing that imports the MIDI files when you go to open them, was not working. Because all of those messages, what they told me is that the MIDI importer was trying to read the file, couldn't understand something or other in the file, usually a lot of things, and just refuses and gives you the error that says it could not be read. Um, however, I saw at least one person who did manage to get past that, but said that they could only choose one instrument for the entire file or something like that. But still, even though you got past the importer step, does not mean that it completed correctly. That is still indicative of the importer giving you a result, but a result that's completely wrong. It got broken. Um, and the next question after that is, why did it work for me, but not for anyone else? And that's one that I had especially. And at first, I had no idea. It made no sense. The only thing I knew is the MIDI files that these people are using aren't working. However, I eventually figured it out. And that is actually what prompted me to make this video is because I want to explain in more detail. So here's the thing about that MIDI importer. I made it from scratch quite a while ago, actually. And I made it for a game so that I could import MIDI files. Well, actually, more specifically, use MIDI files as the source of music in a game if I wanted to. Kind of like a music library or something. Um, so it only had one job, and that was be able to read the MIDI files that I put in the game, and two, um, output them in a format that is useful enough to the thing that actually plays the music. And I got it to a point where it did that, and it did that well. It worked with the MIDI files I gave it, and it didn't give me any fuss. Um, but the problem is, I forgot about that whole thing. So when I started work on MIDI to GDC, I needed a MIDI importer. And I thought that rather than go ahead and try and find one online, I thought, I've already made one. Why not use that one? So I naively used that one, uh, forgetting the fact that it was made not for what I was trying to do with it, but rather for something much simpler. So put simply, the problem is... I used a MIDI importer that was not designed for the kinds of MIDI files that people were giving it. However, I still have the question, what kind of MIDI files were you people using? Because, I mean, even though I've already said it wasn't designed for what I was using it for, still, it doesn't seem like it should be that bad. But, in all seriousness, sorry about that. Um, yeah, that one's on me. Which brings me to the next point. Am I ever going to fix it? If so, when? Um, 
I'd like to be able to fix it because it just doesn't feel right, you know, um, putting that program up and then pulling it as soon as I saw that it was broken and just never releasing it again because there were a lot of people who were really eager to try it out and that meant a lot to me, which is why it was so much sadder to see that it didn't work. Um, so my idea is if I ever do work on it again, then I am going to actually use a proper MIDI library, one that has been released, tested by other people, and best of all, not been written by me. Um, of course, that brings up the question of when. The thing about that is, I was burnt out with this project um, by the time I released it. Um, I was uh, frustrated at the point that I released it, and ready to get it out. Um, so the last thing I want to do is go back into the program right now and fiddle with it, trying to get it to work, because I just got finished doing that very thing, but for the UI instead. Um, which sucks. I know that sucks to hear. It's the last thing you want to hear is, oh, I'm burnt out. But the thing is, it, it was never meant to be this serious anyway. I did not expect it to get the reception that it did, honestly. So it was kind of like a scramble to get it out when I did realize that people wanted it. And that only added to the, uh, that only added to the jank once it finally came out. But, so yeah, if I'm going to work on it again, I'm going to work on it when I am in the mindset and the mood to actually put real effort into it, not just throwing something together to get it out. When that's going to be, I unfortunately have no idea. So, sorry to leave you on that note, but regardless, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and also thank you to the people who have subscribed and left comments because the channel exploded with the $30 website, which has been, it's just been amazing, and I, I thank you all so much for what's about to be 5,000 subscribers and a, what looks like it's going to be a million views on one of my videos, which is awesome. It took four years to get to 140 subscribers, netting about 20 views on average for any of my videos. So this was just amazing. Anyway, um, I think there's really only one thing to do to end off this video, and that's to... Yep. It's gone. It can't hurt you. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content, more $30 website content, I don't know. Um, more content about the projects I'm working on? Probably. Mm, I don't know. You'll just have to find out. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and bye.